Hello everybody, today I'm playing Baby's Nightmare Circus and I'm going to get two more endings in this game. And I'm going to get every prize cor corner the object in this series of things. And I, I looked up a bunch of stuff because like I said in the last video, there's no way I'm figuring out all this on my own. So you can actually click on this thing. You have to die enough and um, I'm pretty sure you get this is by dying even more. And this, you'll see. I know how to unlock it. You'll see. It's pretty cool. So this thing, if you click on it, it says, what is that? Then it says at the bottom, you look familiar. Let me tell you a secret. Look in the sky. There's a way to break the game. Find the red line. Hold the keys. B-I-D-Y. Click to, act to activate it. There we go. That's what we're doing. And what we're going to do is we're going to start the game. And then we gotta go to one of the first couple levels. Like, I'm honestly, I don't know if it's gonna work on Circus for Newbies, but I'm gonna do the easy way, just in case it doesn't work, unless there's somebody there. But you have to go into the Ballora's tent and do that. Do exactly what it says. You have to hold in the keys for Biddy, which is Biddy is the name of that JJ thing that I was that I was calling JJ. So let's go to Ballora and do that. Okay, I'm holding them in. I typed them in. Hold them. I'm missing something. F2. I'm missing something. That's just fantastic. Okay. I am an idiot. I don't know why I thought you had to go to uh, Ballora's tent. You literally just face behind you. It says... Okay, I see why, because it says the one with Ballora's tent. Like, that's that's a quote. Okay, now let's do it. B-I-D-Y. There's supposed to be a red line. Maybe, I know, I know what it is, I think. Okay. Maybe, because I pressed F2, it forgot that I went into the prize corner and maybe I even have to do the hard way, I don't know. Uh, but then I have to really go through his, his stuff. There. I think that's all I had to do. But I'm not sure. I'm gonna go on the hard way just in case I'm doing something wrong. Or maybe I'm not holding it for long enough. I held it for quite some time but maybe that's not long enough. My only other thought Besides doing what I just did is on the hard way, which I just, I'm going to now. Oh, I did it. What I had to do is I had to hold the B, I, D, and Y with my left hand all at the same time. And click on the line. That was way freaking hard. Oh my gosh. How many times am I going to have to click on these guys? Or is this even what I'm supposed to do? Okay. Destroy him. Do- How? Click on him. Oh! Am I still supposed to click on him? I'm spamming. Okay, I spammed as hard as I could. If I was supposed to click a certain amount of times, that's not happening because I clicked as, as fast as I could. Finally, I can escape. Okay, I did it right, I think. Wait a second. How do I escape? Where was that narrator thing at? Hello? Is anything even here? 
The broken ending. Let's go. And there are two sets of eyes. One on the right and one on the left, and they both belong to Biddy. The only thing that's a little bit confusing to have Biddy Bab and Biddy in the same game. That's a pretty cool ending. I like that, but it's... I don't know how people find this stuff. I, it's just crazy to me. I would've never found that. And I get the arcade machine. And I got two stars. And I'm gonna get the third star because I know the third ending. This is great. It's Super Mario Bros. I wanna play. I don't think I can play. Oh well. I have one more prize counter object, which I think I literally just gotta die. So, to get that, I'm literally gonna kill myself the easiest way possible by going to Bonnet Rolls and just flashing her. Flashing when she's not there, so that's gonna be really easy to die a bunch. But the final one, after you beat Enite, you get the key. What you wanna do with that key is you wanna go back into Enite. I knew there was something with this. You go back in Enite. And then you go to the the wind up rewind station, and and then you do something. I don't know if I can actually get to it. Keyhole. I did it. It seems as if you found the key to the chest. Open it if you want. It's useless anyway. Won't save any sanity left in you. If you say so. The terror. Oh. I don't know how I read that as a terrible ending. But that is not the terrible ending. That's a treasure ending. And I want to open it. Please. Oh. I got it. That's the final object. Because. Uh, I thought I would have had to die for that one. But I got a full three stars. Because I did see. I was looking up how to get that one, but I literally could not find on how to get it. I legit thought I just had to die a bunch. But it's, uh, it's Foxy. He looks very jacked up. Incredibly, incredibly jacked up. Yeah. I don't know what I can do with this. Poor guy. Okay, now I'm gonna go on to classic mode. I got all three stars here and, and all the prize coin objects. And I'm going to look up some stuff about the, the classic mode that I don't already know. How many how many things do I have left? That's my first question. Here. Three. Okay, it shows me how to get to two of these. I think it's that one and that one probably. But it doesn't show anything about that one. I'll have to do a little bit more digging into it. But. <sighs> I have to get to night two. This sucks. Okay, night two and night three have something I can get. So that's good. Okay, I'm coming back in here for a second. To just put... Just to give a little bit more information on this night that I just found out. No matter what you do, it's all the same. It's basically a big cutscene that you can interact with. Uh, like, all the same things happened. And no matter what I did about Ballora, she just stayed there. And then I was at like... 80 80 percent power and then Betty came in and took away all of my power so yeah uh, and she came in at like dang near the end of 4 a.m. so yeah it's the exact same every time and you can't do anything about it so it's basically an interactable cutscene yeah night two I don't even remember what night two was oh yeah I do night two is quick if I mess it up I'll press F2 as fast as I can. Oh, like that. You hold down.
Okay, I haven't seen any of this before. I'm playing Atari. Can I jump? Can I do anything? No. I can just walk. Oh, there's the picture. There's the picture from the prize counter. In the base game. It's fun time. Freddy! I'm gonna go get him. I found a doll. Oh, and there's the shelf to night three, I think. Ah, uh, now I actually gotta beat this. I did get that, at least. So that's cool, I guess. Okay, now... Now for this thing, I have a picture up on my phone. I gotta rearrange the bottles. Of... of something into a certain order. Okay, I got this. I, 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 I'm just gonna do it fast so I don't have to worry about getting killed. There we go. Who's that? Was that? Was that Biddy? It's a, a. I found a doll, but that was a dog. Ah, oh, do I have to beat these or something? I'm pressing F2. I want to see if I actually got these now. Please tell me it's just that easy. And that's that. Oh, I got all of them. Just one second. It says 100%. I 100%ed Baby's Nightmare Circus. I did it. I got everything. Funtime Freddy doll. I can make him dance. By clicking on him a bunch. And I can make her dab. And his buster. I can make him look creepy. But that makes me just... I want to see about this, okay? If I can make those ones do stuff. Can I make the, the Ballora one spin around? And make the bonnet one do something? No, but I can make her dance. And those are all the phases. Whoa. Okay. This is unexpecting. Oh, the shiningness has to. The shining went away. I'm like, I'm spamming on all of these now. Because I want to make sure I'm not missing something. But if I spam on this as fast as I can. She can do jumping jacks, that's what it looks like. Whoa. You tell me I can't do anything about that? Trying to press keyboard buttons. There's. Biddy is just chilling there. Okay. I don't think the toothbrush. Key... This thing makes noises. And this thing just talks to me. And this poor little foxy thing can't do crap. He's all chewed up. Okay. Now we'll go back to classic mode. And it says 100% right there. Yeah. Okay, now I, there was one prize counter object, corner object, that I didn't look at, but before I look at that, I'm going to try to interact with all of these as much as I can, just by clicking as fast as I possibly can. 
I can just make shines appear on those guys. I already tried clicking on this. Those look like, like, that looks like there's like a hundred USB ports. Okay, I'm clicking and it's changing. This is back to the beginning. I can click really fast. You have to click a couple times for it to change. Like, there's two, two, three, two. Okay, so it's about two or three. Yeah, okay. Uh, that's everything. Is there a new page? No. But that is everything. So yeah, there we go. I finally 100%ed all of Baby's Nightmare Circus. And now that I have done that, I can say that this is without a doubt one of my favorite Five Nights at Freddy's fan games of all time. This game is amazing. I love it so much. My favorite thing in this entire game, I don't even know if it's going to be surprising at all. It's in the base game. Fun times. That's my favorite level in this whole game. I love it. Fun Times Round 2 is a little bit too tricky. I mean, like, I like the hard things, obviously, but I'm not, like, playing games like this just because of the difficulty. I'm playing games to have fun. And I will have more fun with Fun Times and be able to actually take my time. Whereas Fun Times Round 2, I just, I gotta pay attention. Where that's the... That's just not as fun. In some scenarios, it is, but not in this one, I would say. So yeah, now that I have 100% in this game, I need a new game. So, comment if you have any Five Nights at Freddy's fan game recommendations at all. And I'll, and I'll play it, no matter how bad or good it is. So yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed. Comment if you have a fan game you want me to play. Subscribe if you have not. I suck at outros. Goodbye.